Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Anupriya Goyal and today we are going to talk about sunscreens. Stay tuned till the end of the video because for the first time we have a little giveaway for all of you. There are two types of sunscreens, physical blockers and chemical blockers. Physical blockers, they work by reflecting and scattering away the UV rays. Its ingredients do not get absorbed in the skin. Whereas chemical blockers, they work by absorbing the UV radi radiations. However, both physical and chemical sunscreens help in protection against the sun. Now, the sunscreens that we get in the market have properties of both physical and chemical sunscreen. Now, why do we need physical sunscreen or a sunblock if we have a combination of both physical and chemical sunscreen available in the market? It is because some people are allergic or get irritation on the skin after application of the chemical ingredients. Also, newborn babies who are older than six months must use a sunscreen with physical blockers and not a sunscreen with chemical blockers in it. The frequently used ingredients in physical sunscreen are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, whereas the frequently used ingredients in chemical sunscreen are avobenzone, oxybenzone, baba and salicylates. People who have oily skin should use a gel-based sunscreen. Normal to combination skin can use gel-based sunscreen or even can use lotions. Whereas people with dry skin should use sunscreens which are in cream formulation. Sunscreen efficacy is expressed by two main factors. First, the PA star rating, which denotes protection against UV A rays. Two star means medium protection against UV A rays. Three star means high protection and 4-star means higher protection. Second is SPF. SPF means Sun Protection Factor, which denotes protection against UVB rays. Now, if you're applying an SPF 15, that provides you protection of 93% against the UVB rays. An SPF of 30 provides about 97% protection, whereas an SPF of 50 provides about 98% of protection against the UVB rays. So should you really buy an SPF 50 and apply that instead of SPF 30 just for 1% more protection? Well, yes, every bit of protection is important, especially when you spend more time in the sun, when your skin is sensitive post a procedure like a chemical peel or an NDA, and also, especially most of us, apply inadequate amount of sunscreens. Some people can get a false sense of security that if they're applying a higher SPF sunscreen, they are invincible in the sun. But that's not the case. A sunscreen can provide a basic protection and the first line protection against the sun. However, if you want full protection against the sun, you must make sure to avoid the sun in the peak hours of 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Wear broad-brimmed hats, wear sunglasses and wear linen clothes to protect your body from the sun. Quantity of sunscreen that you apply is a really important factor in determining the degree of protection. You must apply two to two and a half fingertip unit on your face and neck. Spread it evenly on the face and you must apply it 15 minutes before you go out in the sun. Reapply it every two to three hours. A lot of people complain that after application of sunscreen, their face gets really oily and sticky. So how should we fix that? Well, after you apply a sunscreen, if your face feels oily, what you have to do is just dab dab your face with a compact powder or with a face powder and that will instantly mattify your skin. Definitely yes. UV A rays are the ones which penetrate all kind of glasses, penetrate deep into your skin and cause photo aging. So for that, you must apply a sunscreen when you're indoors. So for the first time, we have a giveaway for all of you. The top 10 lucky winners will get a book with sunscreen. So how can you be a contender to win it? First, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Second, follow us on Instagram at Berkowitz Clinic and at Dr. Anupriya Goyal. And third, just mention in the comments below what kind of skin type do you have? All the best everyone and I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.